Hey, it's Alicia from MobilityMastery.com and I want to help you prevent arthritis. And if you're in the pre-arthritis category, I want you to know I believe it's reversible. And if you have arthritis, I think it could be rever reversible. It just depends on the severity um, and maybe how old you are and a few other factors. Um, but mostly today I'm gonna talk about preventing arthritis, or if you're in that pre-arthritis category, reversing it so you don't have to get arthritis, because I personally believe you do not have to end up there even if you've been told you're on that trajectory. Now, before I go any further, I just have to say I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice, I'm just giving you my perspective, having worked with people in pain for the last 10 years, including clients of mine that have been diagnosed by doctors with pre-arthritis who completely eliminated it through working with me. So I personally believe that uh, arthritis is a result of lack of blood flow to the joint. So arthritis means inflammation of a joint. So, you know, could be in the hands or the elbow or it could be in your spine, right? Um, it could happen almost anywhere. But the common areas are what I just named. And what I want you to know is, from my perspective, it's usually a lack of blood flow through fascial restriction getting wound up and wound up and wound up over a lifetime to the point where your joint is getting really irritated because it doesn't have the blood that it needs to repair itself at the cellular level. So inflammation as a process in the body is usually what happens when your brain detects there's damage somewhere and so it's trying to isolate that area and get blood in. So that actually is what inflammation is. So if your joint is inflamed, your body is saying, hey, you, there's not enough blood here so I'm trying to isolate it and actually get blood into the joint. Now it might have a difficult time doing this if the fascial system around that joint is super restricted, which is usually the case in the case of arthritis. So um, one sto client story is kind of coming to mind here. I had a client who um, had pre-arthritis really bad in his hands, and he was a jiu-jitsu fighter, and he teaches jiu-jitsu, um, and was com a jiu-jitsu competitor. So very, very active, lots of gripping with his hands, and the doctors had told him, you have to stop doing jujitsu if you don't want to end up in severe pain. He was only in his 30s at the time when I met him. Um, and through working with me, he completely reversed the pre-arthritis in his hands. No more aching, no more pain, no more, you know, anything happening in his hands. And he did not have to stop teaching jujitsu, competing, or um, practicing. So that to me is a testament of what's possible. That was a pretty amazing story. And the interesting thing is he didn't come to me for that. He came to me for a different issue and that just happened to resolve through the work that we were doing um, within his fascial system in his arms. He came to me for a shoulder issue. So uh, if you're looking to either prevent arthritis or reverse it, if you're in that pre-arthritis category, then I would highly recommend Track one would be if you're a real go-getter and goal-oriented, you want to make sure you are optimized for life and in no danger of getting arthritis eventually, then you want to take care of your fascia head to toe. So everything, forearms, um, biceps, chest, neck, shoulders, um, lats, your lower body too, all of it, right? Um, if you are in that pre-arthritis category and you want to find out if you can reverse it in that one area through diligent work, I recommend starting there, and the results you might get there, I hope, would inspire you to then do the same thing throughout the rest of your body so that you, you know, prevent that from happening in the future. So, for example, in the hands, if you have arthritis in the hands, you're going to want to do fascia release in your entire um, arms and maybe even chest and neck because that is what is usually circulating blood to your hands um, and you want to open up those channels. So I have all the techniques you need right here on Mobility Mastery for every single body part, but I'm talking about getting after your flexors specifically, so these guys right here, um, your extensors, so these right here, your biceps, your brachialis, um, your chest for sure, and your scalenes 
and your traps. If you do all of that, you should notice a significant result. If you're pressed for time or for whatever reason you just can't find the time to do all of it consistently, then I definitely recommend going after the area right around the joint. So if it's not in your hands and it's somewhere more like your elbow or your shoulder, then you're, wanting to get, you're gonna wanna get that fascial um, system released right around the joint to allow blood to travel straight into the joint through that tissue directly adjacent. So that might mean going after the extensors right here next to the elbow, definitely the brachialis if elbow is your problem. If it's more of the shoulder issue, then definitely biceps, um, opening up the chest and for sure your scalenes or your neck. The scalenes here, right here, huge blood channel for blood circulation and also lymph drainage. Um, so opening that up is gonna do wonders for allowing your body to basically take out its trash and then create new, um, create your body anew. You know, we're basically rebuilding our bodies all the time and what you need to do that is fresh blood. So you wanna open up as many ch channels as possible through fascial release um, and that should start to uh, take care of it. Now I wanna give a special mention here to um, any osteoarthritis in the spine specifically or um, pre-arthritis if, if you've been maybe diagnosed by a doctor saying, hey, it's looking like you're a little arthritic in your spine, so we wanna keep an eye on that. Um, what you can do specifically with a spine, I would highly recommend actually going after your leg fascia and specifically your thighs. So your quads and your quad hip flexors, your IT bands, your adductors, your hamstrings, and then also definitely check out your gut fascia because if you are super restricted here um, where you have a ton of fascia, uh, blood may not actually be getting to your spine like it needs to, and that could be part of what is actually happening to block blood through whatever part of your spine um, is experiencing maybe some arthritis symptoms. Um, if it's more in the upper back though, um, and the neck, you're gonna wanna go more with upper body. So if it's in the lumbar region, lower um, spine, legs and abdomen, if it's in the um, mid spine or upper cervical spine, your neck, then definitely do the arms and the scalings and the traps like I talked about earlier. So um, again, you can search Mobility Mastery here on YouTube um, by body part or pain pattern um, or the blog. So mobilitymastery.com, either one. If you go to the blog, I'm actually gonna have, um, for most of these videos, written descriptions that are gonna help you understand exactly what to do um, how to make sure you're doing it correctly. So I recommend actually going to the blog because there's a bit more information and um, hand-holding. Um, I'm gonna guide you through each technique. So check out mobilitymastery.com, use the search function to find the body part, um, and then get after it. And I'd love to hear uh, if this is surprising news to you, if you've been told either that you're headed towards arthritis or maybe you feel like it's running in your family and you're a little worried about it. Share your takeaway from this video below and definitely go try a technique or two, see if you notice a difference, um, and give it some time because arthritis is something that in my experience usually comes on gradually over time and it's gonna decrease in a similar way, probably faster than it came on if you're diligent, but it's not gonna be like pain relief where it can happen instantly when you hit the right thing. Um, so it's a little bit, it requires a little bit more patience on your part to get that really noticeable result. But it might start decreasing gradually until one day you go, oh my God, like my hands don't ache, or you know, my neck actually feels better. Um, so yeah, give it a try, uh, share your thoughts below. And if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. And if you wanna join my email community, I send out some coaching on mind-body connection, pain relief, and tips like that every week. Um, and you can get some free resources by clicking the link below that will help you release your fascia and feel better. So um, I'll see you next time.